If you're trying to grow your game on Roblox, you need to watch this video. Today I'm going to be filling your brains with knowledge and teaching you everything I know. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how Roblox games grow and you will be able to apply this knowledge to your own games. First off, we're going to start with how to get that initial kick. Getting a game off the ground might seem tricky, but it's really not. And the first option is social media. Guys, gone in the days of needing to pump tons of Robux into ads to see new players. We have amazing options like TikTok, YouTube, Twitter. Uh, I've even seen people using Instagram. I haven't personally, but go for it. What I've seen work best is definitely TikTok though, because of its algorithm that's just pumping random Roblox videos to the moon, blowing up games from nothing. It's absolutely wild. Uh, I've seen tons of games blow up from just a few TikToks. And personally, I've seen like from my own TikToks that just consistently posting stuff that doesn't even take five minutes to make will literally just bring a consistent flow of players like I'm advertising it. And if you're able to do some research and practice how to make a viral TikTok, you're going to see even better results. So that's something you absolutely should be doing. It's honestly just a cheat code. It's an easy way to get new players. YouTube is another great option. And whatever you post on TikTok, it can't hurt to also post it on YouTube shorts. And if you want to go all out and make a game trailer and post it on YouTube as well, that's also sick. Anywhere where you have a following, you should definitely be posting and pushing your game, uh, whether that's Twitter, Instagram wherever should really be on that advertising grind and speaking of youtube getting youtubers to play your game is super beneficial i'm not going to talk about this too in depth in this video but i have another video on how to get youtubers to make a video on your game which dives into it really deep moving on to sponsors and advertisements i don't think sponsors and advertisements should be something that you have to rely on just because there are other cheaper ways of getting new players guys sadly before roblox nerfed ads and sponsors by making it so you can't advertise to kids under 13 my stance on this was completely different, but nowadays they're just so inefficient that you definitely should not depend on them, especially now with all the competition because Roblox ads are a lottery pool. So the more people that there are putting more Robux into the pool, the less likely that you are to get picked. And now making it as a small developer, the ads are just so inefficient, but I just wouldn't recommend banking on ads. And I would recommend using sponsors over ads. They're newer, you have more control. You don't need to make a whole new advertisement and the impressions turn into plays a lot easier since people are clicking on the game icon and know more exactly what they're clicking on compared to an ad as for the settings i would just set the age to 17 plus this will give you the best return no matter what your game target audience is uh this is just since kids lie about their age on their account and whether you set it to phone or pc it honestly just depends on the audience you're looking for now these are all effective ways to get new players into your game of course, if you have a following anywhere, you should always use that. When growing a Roblox game, you have to be aggressive and you can't give up. If the game is well made, then there's always a way to make it popular. The Roblox algorithm, it's trash, but it's still a way that games get visits long term. Now, an algorithm is basically just a set of rules that if your game follows, Roblox will push the game. That's it in simple terms. Realistically, nobody knows exactly what these rules are. Trust me, I've researched everywhere. I'm super, super curious. If anyone has any idea, leave that in the comments below. But as a general rule of thumb, if your game has good statistics, it'll be pushed harder by Roblox in places like recommended and it'll land higher on search. Uh, these statistics are engagement and retention and i've even heard that if your game is monetized well roblox would like to push it more because you know roblox loves money so this is just another spot where the quality of your game is crucial keeping the players playing the game for longer and keeping the players coming back is honestly the most important part of a game think about it like it's easier to gather 100 chickens if you have a good fence <laughs> I know this sounds silly, but if you don't have that good fence, the chickens are just going to keep running away. You can keep getting new players, but they're just going to leave, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> so having a good foundation and a well-made game is truly going to be what makes or breaks how successful your game is once you get it off the ground. Moving on to search. Some people like to make their games centered around landing on a highly searched term with low competition. And honestly, search can pull in an impressively large amount of players. So be sure to consider it when naming your game. Like I mentioned before, how high your game ranks will also depend on its statistics and just how popular it is. Now let me get a drum roll for this because this is the biggest way that games grow. This is how they spread like wildfire. Friends. Guys, one player joins the game, his friend sees that he's online playing a game, his friend joins, and his friend joins, and his friend joins. As long as you can keep the players in there and keep them coming back, it's going to spread and spread and spread. And it is more powerful than you could ever believe. Trust me. And since this is so important, you're going to want to maximize this. And you can do that with a big trick that I mentioned in this video right here. And it'll be linked down 
in the description below. So be sure to check those out. Guys, the moral of this story is that you need to make a game that can hold players for a long period of time that keeps players coming back. And once you have that well-made game, consider all the ways players can find new games when attempting to grow and improve your game. Use all of these different ways that I've shown you in this video to maximize your game's growth. You got this guys. Good luck. I love you. Thanks for watching.